Welcome back, everybody, to the never-ending story. It's been more than a year reading this fucking book. Oh, I'm glad to be back. I really am. Uh, let's go ahead and continue onward into the story. When we last left off, and I, I'm surprised at how long this game is going on. Like, I don't think I've ever, it's not since Higurashi have had a year-long Let's Play where people were invested. So I, I definitely thank you for you guys for doing this and for putting up, for tolerating me. The last time we left off, uh, we were just in a party where... Beatrice was just around, and all the relatives were just talking to her as, as if she was a fucking family friend. Hey, how's it going, Beatrice? Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, how are you? How are the kids? Oh, yeah, they're great. Should come by sometime. Hey, how's that 20 pounds, 20 tons of gold? Oh, you know, it's fine, it's fine. How's the missus doing? Oh, she's great. Like, what the fuck? Seriously, that kind of weirded me out. Anyways, we're going to continue in that just insanity right there. Yeah? Because Beatrice just always comes by to have a good time. Because of course she does. Oh, God. I just... I, I, I can't. I can't. Yeah, I'm sure you guys understand. Whatever. Yeah, all of the siblings swear to work together. We promise! We promise! We're totally not going to slaughter each other. Because if I didn't watch the last chapter, which was the truth, mind you, it was Birkenstell told Angie the truth. You know, there was actually a bit of controversy on my channel about this. I don't know how it blew out of proportions to that. Technically speaking, as a player, Birkenstell has never really done anything wrong as a player. I mean, she has been fighting for the human side. She told Angie up front what she would want, what she wants to do, and... Angie told her that, hey, I want these two things, and Birkenstell delivered. Whether or not Angie actually wanted the end result, that's up, that's irrelevant. Birkenstell did do what Angie wanted. She told her the truth, and she let her see her family. So, not only that, but Birkenstell hasn't been swapping sides, unlike us. So, I mean, she's evil. She's, like, one of the most evil characters in all of the series. From Higurashi all the way till this game, but she's been a good player. She hasn't really been doing anything that is against the rules. I still hate her though, and I hated her creations too. Even though, and now that I've gone through all of this, I gotta say, Arika was like one of my second favorite characters in the game. Just because of her just complete and utter just... She was... She was an Evatrice that worked. Let me put it to you like that. Arika was an, an actually good Evatrice. One that actually worked as a villain. Evatrice was just depressing, and I never want to deal with that ever again, because... That was just... A lot of people like Chapter 3 and I don't know why. Hell, I think that's Newt's favorite chapter. Or, what? no, Newt's is 6. But a lot of people really like 3. You, you guys like what you like. I hated 3. <laughs> I really hated 3. Oh. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just... Uh... I just, I don't... <sighs> this game has made me go on a roller coaster. So, okay, so now, now Kinzo's no longer the head. Now it's, it's cross. 
and co. Alright, that's, that's fine. That's fine. This series has really changed over the year. Oh god, I guess I guess we're just all continuing. Th this series has changed over the year that I've been playing it, and boy, I I formulated my own thoughts around this series. It's just uh it it is a sobering thought that I'm on the last chapter. I had a similar experience when I read Higurashi when I realized that God, I was at the end. It's like, I've been working on this series for so long now, and now here we are, last chapter, it's like, well, what's there left? Well, <laughs> to fan disc, and apparently a new chapter is coming out, chapter 9, which I don't even understand why we're making chapter 9, unless this chapter leaves us on a cliffhanger, in which case I'm going to be very salty about if it does. I'm going to be very salty. Um, that also brings into some questions here, what, what my plans are in terms of continuing. First and foremost, am I going to be playing through Chapter 9 if it comes out? If it comes out... I won't believe this is all Oni Chan's farce. Y you you think? I know, this is kind of strange, it's kind of weird. Evidently, I don't know. Will I be playing through Chapter 9? The answer to that is... Yes! If it comes out from Manga Gamers. If it comes out on Manga Gamers, and Manga Gamers releases it... Then yes. Is everything you can't say in Red a lie? I mean, he's gone out of his way to give you this chapter, Angie. I, I, I mean, I feel like you should be a little bit more appreciative, but hey, that's just me. I feel like Angie's just being a little six-year-old bitch right now, but at the same time, I get where she's coming from. This is just weird like weird weird there's no point in using the red truth a rule of this game to force the truth on her that's right she can determine the truth on her own we don't necessarily have to have the red text in order to convey what is true and what is not. We can believe in whatever we want. And I feel like that's a good message in this game. In a game where red truth is absolute, I feel like we can find truth in things that don't have the red truth. Of course, nothing that we find can contradict the red truth, but I don't think that the red truth should be the end-all be-all truth. Remember, gold truth does exist as well as bru uh, blue truth. And who knows, maybe another truth is going to come out. I swear to God, if there's another color text, I just, I, I'm done. I'm done. I just, I, I don't even know. I, I just don't even know. So, I mean, so far this chapter, this chapter is weird. Oh yeah, Going back to what I was saying, I do plan on doing Chapter 9, and if Chapter 9 turns into another four uh, chapter series and turns from 9 to 12, and we get more story from it, and it's actually a core arc in the series, then yes, as soon as Manga Gamers releases it, I'll definitely get into that. Will I be pirating the game? No. I fully... I may... I mean, if there's a... If, if I can't find a way to record it... Once I actually buy the game, then if I can record the pirated version, then that's one thing. But I actually want to buy the game first from Manga Gamers before I actually attempt to record it. So that I can buy the game and I can share it with you guys once I get it. That's one thing. Um, same with... Now, now the things... That can't be really said so much for the other games, because fan discs... 
I want to buy the fan discs so that I can uh, set up a translation with them, just like I did with uh, Yumaneko. Sorry, Higurashi when they cry re. But something tells me that I'm not probably going to be able to find a physical copy of uh, Yumaneko Hen and Yumaneko uh, Subasa. So I'm a little bit iffy on whether or not I'm going to be let's playing those games. To be honest, like. To, for me to be honest, I feel like the main core arcs are fine, and if you guys really wanted me to go out and explore into the side stories of this series, I could, I, in, in theory, I could pick up Hain, and I could pick up Tsubasa, and if Chapter 9 does come out instead of, you know, fucking When They Cry 5, I could pick up that game too. But recording, that's another thing. I want to buy the game before I record. That's just a personal preference of mine, and I solely believe in buying the game first. It's why I was so against playing this game initially, and when it was coming out. Uh, one reason was is that it wasn't available on Manga Gamer's site. Uh, when I when I first finished Higurashi When They Cry, Yumeko When They Cry, I don't believe was on Manga Gamer's website, which means I couldn't buy it. Another thing was is that it wasn't finished translated by Witch Hunt, so there were part th there was parts of the story that I couldn't com uh, go through, and I thought just like with Higurashi, I wanted the f the full game to be translated and released where I can buy it before I actually go into the game. And that's what I, I did with this game. Granted, I did this a while back while Mong Gamers still had it on their site and they weren't porting it to Steam with an updated version, an updated uh, translation. And I recommend buying that game so that you can experience the original or the new sprites. And, you know, well, you guys can patch if you want, but, you know, I feel like that kind of... I feel like patching... Uh, okay, I've talked about this in the past. I really have. I'm gonna get into serious trouble talking about it again. I feel like patching is a nice thing to do afterwards, but I don't feel like you should play the game the first time patched. I don't feel like you should have the PS... Unless you actually buy the PlayStation version of the game, I don't feel like you should patch the game to fit the PlayStation version. Because the PlayStation version is a unique version separate from Yumaneko When They Cry the PC game. And I feel like 07's original work is fine. I feel like all the sprites and everything are fine. They're really good. A lot of people disagree with me, and that's fine. You guys can disagree with me. But, <laughs> if my Let's Play of, of the Witch Hunters translation with the original sprites, with no background uh, changes, no sprite changes, no voice mods, or anything of the sort, was an indication, I kind of favor the original art a lot. And I mean a lot. I really love 07's style of art. I want to try some adult... <laughs> Angie, you didn't drink this, did you? It's daddy's drink. I want to try some adult grape juice, too, so it's okay. <laughs> oh. I'm not a kid. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> oh. It's so good. Your dad's drinking a bad drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's fun to talk about this game from a reader's perspective, and it's something that I feel like that's why a lot of people come to my channel, and that's why a lot of people go to Newt's and uh, Jokorono's channel, is because, just like with my Let's Play, they want to hear our interpretation, they want to see how we like this game, and they want to they wanna see how we enjoyed it, and also what our preference is when it comes to this game. What's our favorite chapters? How do we read this game? You can obviously see on my channel, I'm more of a traditionalist when it comes to the original artwork and everything, and I love to keep things the way that they initially were when they were released, with just a translation. 
I don't like to add unnecessary things. And some people do disagree with me, and I understand their disagreement. That's why there are multiple Let's Plays of this game. And that's why I've always been someone who has stated to people and been a proponent of this. If you don't like my Let's Play, I would rather you watch someone who, in, who does the things in the Let's Play that you want. Rather than having the experience ruined by my Let's Play. It's why I recommend Newt and Jokorono. It's because that they play the game. Newt plays the game with the with all the sp all the patches, like uh, voices, uh, background art, background sprites updated, everything, everything updated to as much as he can. Jokorono plays with multiple people in the background, so that he has multiple points of view to bounce off theories with, rather than Noose and I only just being here in the recording, having no one else around us, to where we can't really give our ideas. We, we sort of get comments from you guys, yes, but there's no one in the actual recording to bounce off theories and ideas while we record, and that, I think, is uh, Jokorono's uh, strong point. And my strong point is honestly a more expressive and I'm not gonna read out the game for you I mean you guys can read too I'm not gonna read out the game for you and I do love the charm of the original game it's just my style of let's playing and I feel like we all have a different style of let's playing hell if you go back to Katie did 92's uh, playthrough a long time ago she read the game word for word, and she also gave her interpretations, which is what Nude is doing, but she also played with the original sprites. But I think with Higurashi, she had the original, not the manga gamers, but the original music. Whereas I had the manga gamers music. All of our Let's Plays, all of us who are 07 Let's Players, we've all done different versions of this game. And I feel like that's what keeps this game alive. It keeps the community alive. A lot of people are showcasing their first experiences or their interpretation of the series, just like I have, and we're giving our unique perspective. It's almost like... It's almost like... 07, and I keep on alluding to this, it's almost like 07 is the witch. And all of us Let's Players are uh, the opponents, the players. Not really opponents, but all the other game players. And while we are playing alongside with each other, we're playing in our own little bubble trying to figure out what's going on. We all give our own different interpretations of the game. I've noticed that every time I start out a recording session, I always go into some sort of philosophical debate or something, but it's true! Like, my... my episode... when he, when Newt gets to this point in the game, it's he's gonna have a different reaction. He's gonna be talking about different things than I do. And that's fine. So, uh, same with Jakotono. He's gonna be saying different things than I will, and that's also fine. It's, it's why I'm actually in, uh, for those of you who haven't been following Newt's Discord along with mine, we're actually planning, all three of us, uh, because we're the most recent Yumaneka When They Cry players who are all three in the same, uh, area of Let's Playing, you know, we're all three in close proximity in terms of, uh, where we're at in the story, we're all planning on doing some sort of tea party at the end, like actually getting together on Discord or Skype, or, you know, who uses Skype anymore, Discord, and actually talking about the series, and I feel like that's going to be fun. We're definitely figuring it out. I've already made uh, a couple of 07 art things, which you can view on my Discord, as well as the thumbnail, which you can view on his Discord. So, it's really fun. I'm, I'm really excited to talk with those guys, see what their interpretation of the game is, because I've given my interpretation, but I love to bounce off theories with people. It's kind of the reason why I've been continuing this game. It's because you guys are very fun to bounce theories off of and find out if I'm wrong or if I'm right. It's just... <laughs> oh, I always love doing these philosophical episodes. And it's a great way to start out a recording session. Just get off everything off of my chest. A lot of things in this in this episode happened. We, we talked about a lot of things. And I, I really love this. 
Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode. We're going to be continuing on the next episode. So until then, guys, until then, I will see you guys then.